Like, this is fucking metal, dude. This is heavy. This is heavy. What is that? I'm officer, bitch. Uh. Yo, what's up? So I've actually been hoarding a bunch of snowboarding gear for like the past month or two um, for this video. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Just a small haul that I got for this season of all my gear. So let's actually load this up into the car and go to the spot where we're going to unbox them. Okay, I got everything loaded up. Now we're gonna head over to Bernie's house. Yo, what's up guys, Bismar's here. So how I said earlier, I've been hoarding a lot of snowboarding gear just to get ready for this season. So I had my own gear prior to this. I just bought like a cheap snowboard off Afra from a random person. It was like an $80 snowboard. And I used that board for about two years now. And going into this year, I actually wanna learn a lot more. So I decided why not get an actual new board um, that'll benefit me, as well as some boots that'll actually help my run time and everything. So I'm gonna start off with unboxing the little stuff, then I'll move up to the bigger stuff. So I got a bunch of packages right here. Oh. So I got a bunch of packages right here. Um, I ordered a lot of my stuff from Evo. It was actually my first time uh, going on the Evo site. For those who don't know, Evo is a site where they sell a lot of sports gear. They have a bunch of everything, a bunch of skateboard, snowboard, surfboard, everything. So we're gonna start off with this package. I actually forgot what I ended up buying, but so we're gonna end up seeing right now. So. For the first one, we have. Okay. So we have. Okay. So we. I got some stance snowboarding socks. Let's see. So I got these because I actually needed a pair of snowboarding socks. I'm probably going to get another pair. So they're the double diamonds. For those who don't know, double diamonds are um, the snow socks that Stance offers. And then the next thing we got is a Burton touchscreen liner. So these are actually what goes under your gloves. Um, and then I got the touchscreen one. I'm able to just use my phone whenever I want or the GoPro as well. The reason I got these is because I was getting tired of taking off my glove and then my hands should start getting frozen cold because of the snow. I wouldn't wear any liners, it'd just be my hand in the glove. Um, so this will kind of add that little warmth in between as well. For the next package we got, I do believe this is my balaclav. This is my black strap balaclav. I wanted an all black balaclava and I wanted something very lightweight. The other one I had was made from like this fleece material. It was nice, but it was also very loose fitting. Um, I needed something a lot more lightweight on my face. The next thing I got, um, if I'm correct, this should be my ninja suit. Yeah. So I actually did it. I actually had no idea about these until I watched a video on someone who wore these. Basically, it's a full body suit that you wear under your clothes, and um, this prevents snow from getting inside of your clothes. All right, and now that I went over all the small All right, now that- One eternity later. I'm gonna just give a quick rundown of some of the gear that I already have that I'm gonna be reusing this season. So here are my snow pants. They're just some regular black snow pants. They're just some regular black snow pants. They're just some regular black snow pants with some suspenders to hold them up. For my goggles, I got the, the Zion um, goggles that are tinted black. Most of my clothes is black, so I wanted to kind of match. 
my goggles with my clothes. The last thing that I have on me are these North Face gloves. All right, and now for the big stuff. Uh, we're gonna be going over the Burton shoes that I bought and then the board. I bought the Burton step-ons. The reason I got the step-ons was because I actually ripped my other pair of shoes that I have. The wire ripped, it broke. Um, and I needed another pair of uh, boots. So I decided why not just go all out and buy the step on. So the first thing I'm gonna be unboxing are the actual bindings. So these are the bindings that come with the boots. As you can see, it has no strap or anything. It just clips in to these three clips. You just stomp your foot down. I'm a size 10, so the bindings I got were mediums. Usually anything under a size 11 is a medium. It also came with, so it came with different mounts depending on what snowboard you have, what brand, because different brands use different mounts. So this will let me mount my boots on any snowboard that I choose. All right, now for the boots. Some of you guys might have clicked on this video just to see these boots or just to see this snowboard. So let's actually get right into it. So you can see this is the Burton step on boot. They have two versions. They have the regular version, which is this one. And they have the ion one, which is built a lot tougher. I just went with the regular version only because I just needed something um, easy to use, especially right now um, at my beginner state. And then so the back also has this little clip where you tuck your snow pants in. That way it doesn't interfere with the clicking process. This has the self tightening screw. So all you have to do is click down and then twist it and it'll tighten itself. I'm gonna try to see if I can click it in and my hand but you're supposed to go the back first like that and then push down on your toe like that there you go so now it's clipped in and there's no getting this boot off this binding unless you pull the trigger which is right here you pull the trigger up and then the back of it comes off there you go. All right, so I widened my my camera so you guys can actually see the whole board. This is the package it came in. An Evo sticker. And then there's the actual board. There's the board that I got. For those who don't know, this is the Ride Twin Pig. This is the new 2020, I think it's 2020 or 2021. Yeah, 2020. So the reason I got this board is because it has rocker in the middle and then it has camber as well on the edges. From what I've heard, it's a good all around snowboard. It's good for powder, it's good for freestyle. Um, it's the same on both ends. So it's good for riding switch if I need to. And it's just a good all around park board. So I'm gonna be testing this board out on the park. So the reason I went with getting a new board, I want a board that I can have that will last a while. And I won't have to worry about anything. Just a board that I can rely on with anything that I need to. As you can see, the ride twin pig. So yeah, so that's all my snowboarding. Oh shit, that's all my snowboarding gear that I got for this season. The season actually starts at the end of this month, the beginning of November. Um, I bought a season pass. I usually go to Burrell. Let me know what you guys think about everything that I unboxed. If you own any of the products, let me know how you feel about it. If you have another alternative to any of these products, also let me know. I'm always interested to learn more. Like I said, it's only my third year this year. If you have any questions about any of these products, uh, be sure to comment them down below. I'll get to everyone. 
and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.